Okay, we've got Abdu and uh, Mark Denny, the chief of police here in Coleraine. Rain. So, Abdu, um, what would be most inspiring to you if, through this effort we're about to describe, there was a, a, a different kind of relationship between police and young African Americans? If there was trust and there was just felt good and it was fair on all sides, what do you? What would be inspiring to you if uh, if that came about? I think it would be very inspiring to just see people not be afraid of authority and just not be afraid to just trust people and not let people just become stereotypes and just go for the easy out of, well, that cop's racist. Well, I did nothing wrong. You know what I mean? I think that's what's most inspiring. Yeah. Hopefully my kids one day will live, and live in Coleraine Township, and I don't want them to, to be in a position where they're afraid of cops or afraid of authority figures just because of prejudice. Yeah. yeah, and we've talked, uh, Mark, about uh, with a whole bunch of people, folks said everybody should be comfortable walking down every street and not have to worry about whatever their skin color, their age, their position of authority or not authority, right? People assume a lot of things about other people, and we don't want to have those negative assumptions. So, Mark, what are you inviting folks to take part in here? Well, on our part, for, for a number of years, we've complained that we've not been understood. And I think now we're, we're beginning to understand that it's time for us to understand others. For, you, for the police to understand others. We're, we're not victims, that, that people are thinking poor things about us. A lot of times these, these perceptions are based on things that have, that have occurred that we are responsible for. And I think it's important for us to understand that everyone in our community deserves service. And everyone needs to feel safe and feel like that they have a right to reach out to the police department with a grievance or a complaint and, and be heard equally. And it's, um, as Abdu said, when... 15, 20 years from now when I'm long gone and he's a grown old man and uh, my young policeman and his children meet, it, it could be on a, on a level where everyone feels safe and heard and trusted. So, Abdul, we've been hanging out here for 45 minutes or so. How do you, what's your experience been with Mark? I think it's a great experience for someone to just understand that it takes more than just reading statistics and just kind of going with what's just out there and just actually talking to people and seeing people as not just a color or a demographic, but as actual people. So how do you see this guy now? What kind of person is he? Since, <laughs> since he's basically asking you, asking folks watching this, hey, come on down and have a conversation with us. What do you, what's that conversation going to look and feel like if you sit literally chair to chair in a circle with other police officers in a balanced room where there's the same number of African-American young guys like you and the same number of folks like Mark, not in their uniforms, hanging out. What can people expect from that conversation? I think you can expect like a refreshing conversation. Someone in authority understanding the problems within the system. And, cause and wanting people, to understand. Yeah. yeah. Like, wanting to understand. Because some people will just be like, well, my police force is perfect. We're never wrong. Like, mm -hmm. It's good to, it's refreshing for someone in power to be like, to be introspective and be like, well, we're not perfect. And this is how what we can fix, and this is what we're trying to fix. So I think if you So that's what you heard from Mark. Yeah, and that's what I heard from Mark. That he's so, saying he's not perfect, and he wants yeah, it to, yeah. yeah. His police force is not perfect, and he wants he wants Corrine to be a better yeah. place. And I think Absolutely. if you talk with Mark, you'll understand that someone actually cares, and there's a driving force. It's not just political. It's not just a, a PR stunt. It's actually driven by ethical and good motives. Yeah. And Mark is... Uh, knows that it's about the relationship. That it start, and that's really what we're asking. It starts with a relationship. This is not, it's not some committee meeting where you're going to come and figure out what to do. You're going to have, we're going to try to understand each other. And I think before Abdu and I met, we were the stereotypes. He's a young African-American. I'm a white cop. And it, once we broke that down and we're sitting here next to each other, we, we've opened up and I think we, we built a friendship in a short period of time. That yeah, it feels good. And that's what I'm good at doing. We, we can, I can talk openly with him and, and honestly, and it's not going to be held in a position where it's right. going to be brought up later on. We, right. we can just talk. And, yeah. And we do have different points of view, and we have much different experiences in life, and we can learn from each other. And you guys said some hard things, but in an easy way. Yeah. And that's what we're going to do. You're going to be able to say, maybe I don't want on a video the F-bombs that I will encourage you to drop. If you need to drop an F-bomb, the person on the other side of that conversation, white, black, old, cop, young, whatever it is, can say, Wow, you feel strongly about that, young man? <laughs> or, gee, gee, Mr. Bald Guy, you are really, you're pretty intense about that too, right? It's, I've been known to drop a few. So but yeah. that's why you're, you're, you're unknown, your unseen facilitator, that's what, and Abdu, you've been in one of these group meetings, right? Where, uh, what was that like it was that very, I facilitated? It was very refreshing. Just, I, I know I keep saying that, but it was just good to see people be like, wow, we understand what you're, 
what you, what people what people like you are going through. And I'm not saying that I've experienced police brutality or something like that, but I've seen people, friends of mine talk about it, and I've seen it kind of. I've seen like the unfair treatment sometimes, yeah. and I think like when I talk to like people from everywhere, every walk, like all walks of life, and they're just saying like, yeah, we understand, we understand. I think that's it's very encouraging, and it's also inspiring to be like these I, these conversations. Yeah, I can actually okay. make a difference where I live. And I think you used you used a three letter word that I don't want to put back in your mouth. But will pe- will people have a good time at this? Will they yeah, enjoy that's this? Fun. Okay, good. That's what like, like, <laughs> I'm. I'm like looking for a compliment. Yeah. 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 If you like growth and understanding other people. It's a very fun experience. Right. And I have I have meetings for a living. That, that's basically all I do all day anymore. And um, this is one that's actually productive. That I actually get something out of. That I feel actually makes a difference in this community and in, in, in what we do. And yeah. That's rare, unfortunately, with meetings. Yeah. But this is, meeting is not even really a good word for this. It's, yeah. it's more just getting down to it and talking. It's a conversation. And getting open and getting things off your mind and off your chest that yeah. bother you and yeah. make you worry. Yeah. And we're try- ultimately, if I can put this in your mouth, we're, we're trying to build a movement yeah. of uh, a partnership between young folks in the community and the police and generally, the township generally, to uh, create a coal rain that really thrives because of its growing diversity. And why have the tension rise because of growing diversity? You just let's let's leverage that. Say, hey, this this is great because this is the way the planet's going. Yeah. Let's make it happen here in Colerain. So thanks, guys. Uh, hope and so Abdu's buddies, you come on down. It'll be a good time. Uh, we'll just so you, you see this. That's me. Right, we'll see how that looks. I might edit. Oh, I'll leave it. I'll just leave it to you guys. So Abdu will be sending this out. Thanks, Mark. You might send this out too. But uh, we'll see you guys soon.